So, hello and welcome to Sim Racing VR. Um, today I'm going to be doing the Nurburgring in the BMW 1M Coupe again, but today I'm going to be playing in VR. I've never done VR Sim Racing before, so this is a first for me. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the race. Okay, so here we are in the beginning menu. Um, I'm just going to get my headset set up. Don't want that, I want this. Put the seat down slightly, up a tiny bit, and a little bit backwards. Yeah, I think. Yep, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So, let's start. I don't think I'll be any faster in VR. I think I'll probably be slower. This is my first time ever playing VR Racing Simulator. I've played Dirt Rally 2.0 with my headset before. I have an Oculus Rift S, um, but that was with a PS5 controller, not my wheel. This is a completely different experience. I definitely feel more in control of what's happening versus playing on a display, but I suppose that's the entire point of VR. <clears throat> Even after just this short time, it's only been a few minutes, but I already feel, like I said a second ago, I feel like I've got more control. It's easier to feel what's going on through the wheel. I think I'm going to retract my statement from the beginning of this race. I think I will be quicker. I'm definitely like making less mistakes. It feels quicker. I don't know if that's just because it's through VR or if it is actually faster. We'll see at the end of the, at the, end of the lap. definitely feel like my driving is smoother with the headset already rather than playing on a display but we'll let the times be the judge of that wrong gear I thought it was in fifth I was gonna go in sixth but it was actually in third I suppose that's one downside, is I can't just glance down at the, uh, the gear stick, but I also play with the HUD off, so there's no indications anywhere as to what gear I'm actually in. smoother 
but so far no major mistakes. This will be the real test, the carousel. No, I got a bit of lag there. That happened in the last video as well. I'm not sure why that happens. I'm playing custom game offline. I'm not sure why it does that occasionally. Could possibly be a streaming issue. I do have this game on a hard drive as opposed to my uh, NVMe PCSE uh, Gen 4 SSD, sorry. I might transfer it to my SSD and hopefully stop that from happening. There's our first major roll. So far I feel like I am definitely doing a little bit better versus playing on a screen. Which is not what I was expecting. I was expecting to do a lot worse. But like I say earlier, we'll let the times do the speaking and we'll just get to the end of this lap, see how we've done. That definitely felt quicker through there. Gonna keep it in third. come out a little bit there. I am definitely getting more of a feel of what's going on versus playing on a display because having the headset it feels like I'm I'm I don't know how to explain it, it's weird. It feels like I'm there almost. You can tell what the car's doing a lot better than you can on a display. For a first experience, I'm blown away. I think I'm gonna have to play like this all the time now. That definitely could have gone a bit smoother. That like slight lag spot again. Again, I think it may be a streaming issue. If I transfer the game to my SSD, my Gen 4 SSD, I think that would eliminate that. One more lap to go. Okay, I'm just going to bring up the HUD quickly. That was an 815. 815.4. Now I've lost my focus because I was looking at the X. Hard. So I believe in the last video I got a time of 8.12. So 8.12 is the time to go for on this second lap.
just trying to get a slight slight kick on the rear there to help push the car through the corner. understeer going through there went in there a bit too aggressive Little bit of a twitch there. Okay, hopefully it won't stutter this time. Let's see if I can stay in the carousel. No, I still can't do it in VR. <laughs> I think that's where I'm losing a lot of my time. I know I'm making a lot of mistakes as well, going too aggressive into corners and understeering and oversteering, but the carousel is a key part. If you come out of the carousel, you're going to lose a lot of time.
Okay, so that is the race over. Let's have a look what my fastest time was. 8.04 on the second lap. 8 minutes, 4 seconds, 0.66. So that over the original time of 8 minutes 20 is 16 second improvement in 4 days and my first time ever playing VR Sim Racing. That's um, an 8 second improvement again on last time, which was uh, played on a display. So yeah, I think um, I think this is going to be my new way to play now. That was, like I kept saying during the during the race, it feels so much more involving. It's easier to um, predict what the car is going to do. It's easier to control the car, in my opinion. Even though that being my first time ever doing it. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to carry on practicing. Maybe, yeah, in VR now, and uh, yeah, we'll see how far we can get. But thank you for watching. And goodbye.